I'm sure you've seen me quickly click through a box when I close out the GUI sometimes at the end of these videos, and that box is asking me a question. It's asking if I want to save the workspace or the working environment. So we're going to look a little bit today at what that means. Uh, the workspace has in it a couple of important things for the basic use of R that we're covering in these videos. One is the variables that are in the memory, which we learned about, uh, both the assignment and listing with that ls command. It'll also have the history of commands that you've issued. So those can both be very wonderful things to have if you're looking to come back to a project that you've left in the middle. I'm going to show you how to go about that. So I've assigned some more variables today. A is 400 rats, uh, healthy BMI is false, mom loves me kinda, you can see what's in there. And we can do some operations on these things. So, uh, you know, we do some life success score, you know, and we'll assign that. So I'm gonna give myself some points for doing these videos today. I feel like this is, you know, a huge accomplishment on my personal end. So I'm gonna add three points and I can even look at it and see what it's at right now. Now it's at three, good, grew there. Uh, simple enough, so we, we've done some Entering of variables, we have some things in our memory, we can see that with the ls command. Oh, but bad news, I've recently eaten a meal from Taco Bell and I need to leave the room. So, I'm going to have to close out my GUI and it's going to ask me, do I want to save my workspace image? I've been able to keep my wits about me. I'm going to say yes, that means all the commands I've issued and the variables I assign will still be there when I come back. I'm going to hit yes. It's also asking me if I want to save this script. Now this particular script doesn't have anything useful and I'm going to say no and that's what it's asking me in that second question. So now I return to my desktop, my bowels have been evacuated, my soul is refreshed anew, and I go ahead and open up R, and as I'm getting R back to how I'm used to it being, opening up my new script and tiling things vertically so I can get to work, you'll see that the previously saved workspace has been restored. Uh, this is something that will happen automatically if you open R up, whether from this GUI or you know from your terminal in the command line or some other editor in most cases. Uh, when you open R up, it'll search through the working directory for a workspace file that was saved there, uh, which is what happens by default when you click yes at the end of this program or answer yes to the text prompt they give you in the terminal when you leave an R. And it'll reload that workspace. So the workspace is the one that I left it with. We can see all my variables are still there. Uh, we can check my life success score. We can see if my mom loves me. Yeah, kind of. So. So this is a feature you may or may not make a lot of use of for the, these videos, not something I'm going to spend a lot of time on because a lot of what I'm doing is temporary throwaway example type stuff. If you have a longer, more involved project or you've got a set of things that you're learning on and working on over time, certainly that's going to be a scenario where saving a workspace can be useful. But as we go through, you're going to see there's other ways you can save our objects directly onto your hard disk or more commonly you can take them in and out of more friendly formats. Uh, you know, your spreadsheet type files for Excel and, and CSV and that kind of stuff. And more often you're going to store data permanently that way. But this is a nice fallback, it's a nice piece of redundancy, and in some cases you may want to make use of it. All right, I'm Ed for my Bring Back. Please keep watching these videos. Hit us up at mybringback.com. Uh, spend some time with us on Google+. Follow us on YouTube. We're going to make you better at coding.